Hello, my name is Gustavo. Uh, everybody calls me Gus around here, so I think it's a little easier for everybody. Uh, and I am the one who runs this place, which is Blue Spring Hatchery. This place is divided in three different sections, which is incubation, troughs, and raceways. At this time, we're going to start talking about where everything begins, which is the incubation. Right here, I have eight double stacks of incubators. Every stack has 14 trays with baskets and screens. Whenever we spawn the uh, fish, we bring their eggs into these incubators. We make sure that uh, they are climatized to my water temperature here. And once the, the eggs are ready to be placed, then we pr uh, proceed. Every single tray has a basket and a screen. This is my basket where the eggs are placed and this is my screen that covers the eggs so they don't go anywhere with the water movement or whenever they hatch they start swimming around and you don't want little fish all over the place so we keep them secure in those little boxes and at this time we have three different batches that I'm gonna show you but I want to tell you that every single stack runs at about 4 to 4.5 gallons a minute. That depends on how many eggs you want to put in them. And the reason why we run that amount of water is the eggs, since day one, need constant flow. And they always have to be moist and if in a movement to keep them as close as we can to their nature. So that's the beginning of them and we try to keep them always happy on this board i keep my records of uh, the fish or the eggs since day one we keep track of their spawn day their eyed up day and their hatching day and whenever they are ready to go into the next section then we also write it down just to keep track of it and, and know exactly what fish and how many fish we have per section. Well, we are right now in the second step of the cycle, of the fish cycle in this place. And this is my trough section. After after 25 days average of the eggs being in incubation then they hatch and then they're ready to be transferred into these troughs these troughs run at 10 gallons a minute and they have a capacity to 15,000 to probably 30,000 fish to start with and then whenever they need more space then we transfer them into bigger areas. These troughs, we have 16 troughs in here that have to be cleaned daily. We come in the morning and we clean them with a brush and we run the water down with a brush and then we drain. All the dirt goes down into my uh, discharge area. We feed them after we clean them and we feed them uh, pellets. In this stage, which are one, uh, one gram, they feed pellets in like dust almost. So we feed them about three to four times a day and that would keep them healthy and, and happy. Keep them clean, keep the water flowing properly and keep them fed. That is what make uh, a healthy and, and happy fish. Well, we are now in our third section of this place. 
And this room we call it raceway room. And we have one, two, three, and four concrete raceways. And we have four troughs on top of every single one of my raceways. We call them super troughs because they are significantly bigger than the troughs that we previously saw downstairs. In this room right now, I, I, um, I have 1.3 million fish growing. I have 40,000 in one of in every single one of these troughs and I have an, I have 250,000 in each one of my raceways. Well, like we say before, we in fish farming, we always try to get the fish as close as possible to their own habitat, to their own nature. And what we do here is trying to keep the fish clean all the time. Like I said before, the first, the, the first thing of the day is to come down and clean the fish. How we clean the fish? We run a brush from top to bottom. And once we collect all the sediment, down into this area there's a stand pipe right here that if we lift up all the sediment goes through it That's, that is exactly how we drain the sediment into our waste area that we have outside the cleaning is a very very uh, important part of their development the growth uh, if they're clean, their feeding will be more effective, more efficient, and their growth will be more significant. So we are here in the source of water. This is my main source of water that feeds all the facility. All the water that you previously saw um, coming out of uh, my troughs and my incubators and my raceways and super troughs, all that water comes from here. This is the area where the, where the natural spring settles. It's very pure and clear water. The water is all the time, all year round, from 7.5 to 9 degrees Celsius. No colder, no warmer. And this is, this is fantastic water, very, very pure and very, very clean for the fish. We run about 180 gallons a minute. That's what we take from this spring, 180 to 200 gallons a minute. Depends also on the season. It's amazing because even though it looks the water is very still without any movement, it never freezes. You can have ice and you can have snow in the winter time all around it, but the water stays still all, all the time like the way you see it right now. We try to keep it clean as the main source of water. We, we, we uh, try to keep it clean. We, we net all the algae that builds up, scum and, and debris that my spring may have. So every single day, that's another, another part of the, of the chore 